Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In this video, I want to clearly explain the difference between coins being listed in terms of dollar value versus in terms of Bitcoin value. Now, this can be applied to trading, charting, investing, and I know there's a lot of confusion if you're new to this space and you head over to an exchange and you see coins listed in multiple currencies in multiple ways. So hopefully by the end of this presentation, you're going to understand exactly how this all works. So let's head over to CoinMarketCap and take a look at the coins all listed here in terms of their total dollar value, their market cap. So market caps derived by the price of a coin multiplied by the number of coins currently in circulation. And that gives us the total worth, the total value of every coin currently in the ecosystem. So if more coins get more interest, more people come into the community, more money flows into a coin, that's going to increase the market cap and increase the dollar value. Now that's the first concept to get your head around and that's why a lot of people, that's all they're looking for when they invest in a coin. They want it to go from $1 to $10 and that to them is that increase in value. But I think a lot of confusion happens because Bitcoin has been so volatile and it's gone up so much this year. Not a bad problem to have, but they look at a chart and they see the price of their coin going down in terms of, of Bitcoin value and it confuses them. And I guess the underlying message here that you've got to think of this as a reference point. So if you look at coins priced in Satoshi's Bitcoin value, it's just that reference point on how it's performing versus the price of Bitcoin. So I'll just explain that a little bit further. So we all know that dollar value has two decimal places which represent cents. But if we click on the Bitcoin value, we now have eight decimal places. Now that smallest divisible unit is known as a Satoshi. So you might have heard the term get thrown around, oh my coin's gone up this many sats or Satoshis. And that's all that means. The smallest divisible unit which represents one one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin is known as a Satoshi or a sat. So let's head over to the the charts and the exchanges to see what I'm talking about here. So let's head over, let's say that you want to buy Litecoin for the first time and you've just headed over here to Bittrex. So you see Litecoin priced in Bitcoin here and has, it has the last price. But then we can also buy Litecoin in terms of even Ethereum or in terms of USDT, US dollar tether that represents one USD. It's got that peg ratio and I, I won't dive into that too much further. Um, and that concept of how USDT works for the purpose of this video, I just want to explain the difference between Satoshi's and dollar value. So we want to buy a Litecoin, let's use a round number and let's say it's worth $300. So if I want to buy some Litecoin, I've got to fork over or pay $300 worth of USD. Now someone might say, is it better to buy it with Bitcoin then? What's the price in Bitcoin? But the fact is the price will also be $300 worth of Bitcoin. Now there might be slight differences, there might be slight differences between exchanges, but they're always leveling out due to bots and traders and algorithms that are taking advantage of any arbitrage, any difference in price between exchanges. So hopefully that answers that first question of whether it's better or not to buy it in one or the other. The answer is you're always going to pay the same amount of of comparative dollar value, but it's whether or not you want to part with your Bitcoin. If you think Bitcoin's going to go up in price, you might not want to pay in Bitcoin. You might want to pay in dollars. So let's head over to the chart here. So this is a chart of Litecoin priced in Bitcoin over the last few months. Now Litecoin peaked up in May here and it's, it's been up and down, a bit of a rough ride, but it's a lot lower in December here. Now, you might look at this chart as a trader or investor and say, this has been a bad investment. It's, it's trended down over the past few months. But if we head over to the dollar value, we see that Litecoin was around $15 and over that same time period, it's gone up basically tenfold. Now, anyone that bought $1,000 of Litecoin that now has $10,000 is probably pretty happy. The dollar value, the market cap of Litecoin has increased over that period of time. But Bitcoin may have outperformed and that's why it's a downtrend on the chart because Bitcoin has been stronger. And that's that concept that you've got to get your head around. It's a reference point. So you've got to decide whether your goal as a trader and investor is to increase Bitcoin value, um, accumulate Bitcoin if you're trading and, and, and outperform. And that's always what we're looking for. Are we better, better off just investing in Bitcoin or trying to buy these altcoins and getting them to outperform. Now, for a lot of you, 
it's probably just that dollar value. You probably have a, a set amount of Bitcoin in your portfolio that you're happy with. So what interests you is the dollar value increasing of the other coins you're investing in. Now for a lot of traders, they might be interested in accumulating Bitcoin. So getting in and out of trades, increasing the sats that they own and putting that in their, their long-term holdings to increase their stack of Bitcoin. So for them, they're interested more in the performance versus Bitcoin. That's their ultimate goal to increase the number of Bitcoins that they own through trading. So I guess my messages are, it depends what your goal is to accumulate Bitcoin or simply to increase the total dollar value of your portfolio. It's going to depend on if you're a trader or an investor, what your ultimate goal is. But guys, I think ultimately Bitcoin's an incredible store of value. Have that amount allocated in your portfolio. You're happy with your Bitcoin and then pick your other coins that you've done your fundamentals on and you're happy to invest for the long term and watch those increase in market cap and dollar value. So I hope that's cleared it up, guys. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around, and as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.